Ashley, thank you. Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin announced the city's fiscal year 2020 proposed budget before the Birmingham City Council this morning. CBS 42 News reporter Robert Sherman attended that meeting. He spoke with Mayor Woodfin after he presented the budget. And Robert, we know the city has had some particular challenges to meet its pension obligation. What did you and the mayor talk about today? That's right, Sherry. Mayor Woodfin told me that as he and his staff were putting together this budget, they had a list of priorities in mind. And right at the top of that list were two things. One was funding the pension, as you just mentioned, but the other one was neighborhood revitalization. Tarkeisha Ballard has been a proud resident of the Smithfield neighborhood since 1995, but the community she loves has aesthetically seen better days. It's, it's a problem. I've actually called main complaints. Anybody that I could reach out to, I've reached out to. But no luck. Today, weeds grow high above our camera lens and dance in the wind. Streets sit caked in debris and dirt, and potholes spiderweb across the roadways. But when the Magic City Classic comes to town, things are different here. The city workers will come through and just clear out all the debris, the trash, the overgrown trees and stuff, but that's just only once a year. Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin tells us that these are common issues seen throughout the 99 Birmingham neighborhoods. But the budget that his office proposed Tuesday morning to the Birmingham City Council is meant to address them. We're happy to say that we put in 14 plus million dollars in his budget towards neighborhood revitalization. Here's a breakdown of the proposed numbers. An additional $8 million will go towards street paving, whereas demolition and weed abatement will receive an added $4.75 million. For Tarkeisha Ballard, she's excited about the proposed budget, believes that change might finally be on the way. Wow, it's hope. It's hope. You know, I hope this this budget passes so that we will see a lot of improvements in the Smithfield community. And Sherry, when you take a look at the 2020 fiscal year budget, there is a lot to unpack here with monies being allocated towards education, neighborhood revitalization, public safety, city worker benefits. There's a lot there, which is why we have a more in-depth breakdown on our website, cbs42.com, right now. Reporting live in Birmingham, Robert Sherman, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.